and you, and you, and you, and also you, and definitely you. So many books. I swear, my librarians must absolutely hate me every time I come into the library because I steal literally all their books. I'm Imogen Elvis, and today I'm sharing my most recent library haul. So the first book on my library haul book list is actually two books, and that's Allo The Alloy of Law and Shadows of Self by Brandon Sanderson. Now, I have been very remiss in not reading any of Brandon Sanderson's books because I'm a fantasy writer myself and he is one of the biggest names in the genre. So I don't know why I haven't bothered to read any of his books yet, but I'm hoping to rectify that now. So as it says on the covers, um, these are connected with his Mistborn series, which I also haven't read, but the library didn't have it this time. So we're starting here, but they are a self-contained series as far as I'm aware. So I'm hoping this will be a good place to jump into it because as the alloy of law says, um, it's set, I think 300 years after the Mistborn series. So hopefully that's a big enough span of time that me jumping in here doesn't really matter. Then we have Scott Westerfield's Imposters. So Scott Westerfield is the author of the Ugly series. And I gotta say, I haven't read that one either. I did start reading it, but the library only had the second book. And usually I'm okay jumping into a series in the middle, but for some reason this one really didn't grab me coming from the second book. And I think I would have enjoyed it better if I'd started from the beginning of the series. So I put the second book down for the moment and I do plan on going back and reading the ugly series. But in the meantime, I'm gonna read this one instead because it sounds interesting. And I do love a good dystopia. Then we have Ali Carter's Not If I Save You First. Now, Ali Carter is a favorite author of mine. She's written the Heist Society books, the Gallagher Girl series, and also the Embassy Row novels, all of which I've read and all of which I have absolutely loved. And they're all very different as well. I mean, Heist Society is obviously books about heists. Gallagher Girls is a girls' school of spies. And the Embassy Row novels are set in a country, it's just, and most of it is just set in embassies, where the main character, who may or may not be insane, and may or may not have killed someone. I'm just certain. So, this I think is a standalone and I don't know anything about it because I just literally found it on the shelf at the library, but I am excited to read it. So yeah, not if I save you first. Next up is Catwoman Soul Stealer. I'm not usually a fan of movie tie-in books or books based around movies, but I have read a couple in the past, such as the semi-connected book, um, Wonder Woman. And so these are, they're both parts of the DC Icon series, which I think each book is focused on a different hero. So they've got Wonder Woman, Catwoman, I think there's Superman, Batman, and probably a couple of others. I've only read the Wonder Woman one, but I did really enjoy that. So I'm hopeful that this one will be good as well. If nothing else, it will probably be a bit of fun fluff. And who doesn't like a bit of light reading every now and then? I actually haven't read anything by Sarah J Maas before. I think she's the best, she's best known for her Throne of Glass series, but I haven't read that one and I'm not sure whether I will, but I am interested to see what this Catwoman book is like, so I'm going to give it a go. And finally, we have Maggie Stavata's All the Crooked Saints, and I'm going to apologise if I butchered that last name because I never figured out how to say it. Now. I've read her Raven Cycle books and I thoroughly enjoyed them. She has also written some others, such as I think the Scorpio Races um, and a few more than that, but I haven't read any of those. But I'm interested to read All the Crooked Saints. And I've actually started this one before, but I ran out of time to read it and had to take it back to the library because libraries don't like it when you keep their books forever. It's very different from the Raven Cycle from the little I've read so far. It has an absolutely gorgeous writing style and I'm just interested to see whether that translates well into both an enjoyable read and a coherent plot because beautiful writing is fantastic. 
if it's got something solid to back it up. So I'm hopeful. I'm really hopeful for this one. And I'll be really interested to see what she writes outside of the Raven Cycle. So that's my most recent library haul. Have you read any of these books? Would you recommend any of these books? And I hope you're looking forward to seeing some reviews of them because I will be hoping to review at least a few of them on the channel in the future. And speaking of, if you would like to see more book hauls and book reviews, you should subscribe to the channel and also follow me over on Goodreads because I post a lot of reviews there and I would really like to connect with more people in the Goodreads community in general. If you would like to follow more of my book's thoughts and my writing life, then you can find me over on Twitter, Instagram and my website. I'll leave links for all these things down in the description. And if you like books and would like to support me, then you should pick up your own copy of my book, The Crystal Tree, which you can find over on Amazon. Um, I would really love for you to read it because I think it's great. But anyway, that's it from me this week. I'll be back next week with a new video. And until then, I'll see you guys later.